with the story. At TC a while back, we all had a chance to pray about something in our life that we wanted healed or anything like that. We all came around to one of my friends who hasn't known God for that long. But it came around to him and only quickly proud about his grandfather having a fatal case of cancer and that he would be healed quickly. So a couple of weeks later, he wasn't sure if it was God or not, but he told me that that day after TC, his grandpa went to the doctors and there was no trace of cancer anywhere in his body. So everyone can see how just a little prayer can go a long way when it's your best. Um, in Mark 12:41, it says that Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Many rich people threw in large amounts, but a poor widow came in two, in two very small copper coin, coins worth only a fraction of a penny. Calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, I tell you the truth, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out their wealth, but she, out of poverty, put everything, all she had to live on. The same in my story as it is in the Bible. She was rewarded by the small things that she did because she gave all she had. And she gave it with all of her heart. With the widow and my friend, they were both rewarded by God because of what they did. It isn't always what you give, but the heart that you give it with. When you tithe God, when you tithe, God doesn't just want the scraps, He wants your best. Just like the widow in the story, she gave her best, and although it was only small, that's what God wants. Now I want to leave you all with a question, and that is, what is your best, and what can you give to God tonight? People could get with the buckets, could go out and I'll pray. Dear Lord, I pray that we all give God our best, and that when we tithe, we will tithe with our hearts. Lord, I thank you all for the opportunity that all these teenagers have been given. In Jesus' name, Amen. amen.